Right guys, oh, Centurion Club down today. Playing with someone very, very special, David Seaman, ex-England and Arsenal. I mean, let's be honest, the word gets used a lot, but it's very apt to this place. He's a legend, one of the best goalkeepers England's ever produced. And also a very, very keen golfer, six handicapper. Got a few ideas to do with him, maybe a little challenge later on. But we're gonna play the golf course, little match. David, you're six handicapped, yeah. and so you're going to get two shots. What do you want to do? A bit of match play? Yeah, okay. Match play, you get a, a shot uh, per nine, and then maybe we find a little spot in the middle, do a little challenge of some, some kind. Okay. Mix it up, a bit of fun. All right, okay. Good luck. Best of luck. <laughs> Not too much. David's played here before. <laughs> Is, uh, you played here a couple of months ago, didn't you? So I've lost yeah. my home advantage. I played, yeah, I've played it a few times, actually, if okay. I'm honest. Um, I've been up here with the set of Mr. Wright and Mr. Dixon. Oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah. I heard they're pretty handy as well. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a course. I tell you, it's a, it's a course we play a lot in the winter. It's a good Because you do, because the greens are pretty good in the winter. Yeah, yeah. it's stretch. Yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am in big trouble. That is a great strike. I'll take that. Oh, he's oh, matched I it. Look at that. Nice bit of drawing here as well. I mean, I'll be 40 yards behind you, but... <laughs> oh my goodness. Get up there. Get up! I did a bit of a I refreshed my memory a little bit on some of your phenomenal saves. I don't know if you ever... Do you ever indulge yourself and watch uh, the YouTube best save? I do. <laughs> How often are we talking here? Um, Weekly? <laughs> no, yeah. That save I did against Sheffield United on about... Two million viewers. Is that, that the Pesky Salido one? Yeah, about 1.8 of me. That, that, yeah. <laughs> what I find interesting, as a guy that used to play a more forward position, is what would really annoy you is when you have a really good shot and the keeper saved it. You're like, I've done everything I can do yeah. there and the keeper's got there. He shouldn't have got there. Yeah. Is there. What was the best shot you ever saved? That's a different question, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because that, that the Pesky Salido thing was more of a, it was a, a head, 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 head of shoulder. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the shot. Um, Oh, that's a good question. That's a good one, isn't that? A really good strike where the guy, every nine times out of ten, that's flying in. Yeah, Zola hit one at me against, uh, when we were playing against Chelsea. And you know what, he used to always used to like, put a lot of bend on it. Yeah. And I remember him hitting one at Stamford Bridge and it was top left. And people thought it was in and I just got a fingertip right to it. You know, so it was more of a, it got pace on it, but. It was just where it was going to end yeah. up. Oh, sit down. Go in, go in. Oh! <laughs> it did slow down Where in that hole. The most nervous I've ever felt, without doubt, was in the tunnel at Dancing on Ice. Honestly, really? it was the worst I've ever felt. Wow. I was so nervous because it was live on TV. Yeah. And the second week was the worst because the first, after I did the very first one, first series, so we didn't know how it was going to be viewed. Of course, you don't know. Yeah. No, so then after the first show, they told us that the viewing figures peaked at 14.2 million or something. Oh we were God, like, man. oh no. Oh so the God. second time we were like, this in the tunnel. <laughs> they should have kept that to themselves. <laughs> 14 million, that's yeah. mental. Pro drawing these massively. Look where that's it. That is a twist based measure you've never seen. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. David, you've, you've, you've talked a little bit about, about fishing, eh? you're obviously loving your golf, fishing, shooting, you've got your skating. You've done as well, you still yeah. do. Also, you must, how do you fit it all in? Because you do a lot with the media as well, don't you? And you've got quite a lot of charity work you do as well, right? Yeah, I do a, I do a bit with the media. I do talk sport. Yep. I do that every Wednesday morning with yep. Alan Brazil. Which is yeah, that one quite a lot, yeah. Very excited. Um, so, yeah, I do that. And then I do a lot of work with charity. I do a lot of work with the, the Bobby Moore Fund. Oh, nice. Okay, um, great. There's a bar cancer one, the Willow yeah. Foundation, which is my best mate, Bob Wilson. Yeah, of course. He lost, yeah. he lost his daughter to a rare form of cancer and set up this charity, which is brilliant. And uh, then I do a bit with, um, I do a bit with Cats Protection with my wife. Okay. Um, What's that one? Tell us about that one. That's, that's, so we have, oh, like, pregnant females. 
we take them to our house. We've got a special room where they, they give birth and then no my way. wife my wife then rears them to be I call it humanized. Wow. They get to about ten weeks old and then they off they go back to the uh, to the rescue centre and then get adopted out. Wow. You know, so it's, it's nice, it's a nice ending. But then I also do a lot of work with the Bridge Shark Foundation. I recently did the London bike ride. Yeah. hundred miles, which is hard. <laughs> Still staying in shape then. <laughs> in, in a saddle for seven hours is oh. yeah. Pretty sore the next day. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> in all the right areas, yeah. Yeah, so that's you know, all that combined is is what I'll, it's nice and I can I can manage that. You know, and it's that's part of the reason really why I haven't got back into football. Of course, yeah. I mean um, how you wouldn't have time at the moment, would you? I mean you're probably busy now than when you were playing, right? I'd imagine. It feels that it, way. It is, you know, and when I when I retired, I was ready. I was 40. Yeah. I remember I was playing for Man City at the time and uh, we were playing away at Wolves and the ball was down the other end. I never had this feeling before. I just I was just stood there and I thought, what am I doing? Really? You know, and I was just stood there like this, arms behind me, back, balls right down the mouth. What am I doing? And that was my sign. Wow. The next day I went and saw Kevin Keegan. I said, look, just to let you know, I'm going to retire in the summer. Oh, there it is. They only got a year's contract one. anyway. And it was like, oh, cheers, thanks for letting me know. Um, and then 10 days later, I went down at Yukubu's feet, but normally, like, you slide in as the goalkeeper, you know, your knee slides in, but my knee dug in and spun me over, and his knee hit me right on there, and yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so. I wanted to carry on playing golf and fishing and stuff, so I said, look, yeah. I'll do me. Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that so, sounds incredible that you had that sign just a few weeks before. And yeah, you know, it was strange, but it was, you know, I was 40. Yeah. You know, I've been retired you, 15 years. You've done a pretty good, pretty good run it, mate, <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> this is my weakness right here, David. This is it. Long iron shot is it. This is why my par three average is very high. <laughs> I just can't do it. He has. He has found a rabbit. Soft now. I don't know what to say to you. A rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. Thank you very much. <laughs> so lucky. This is my weakness, he says. That is honestly that's right. one of the best shots I've in this hole in a while. Well, it, your weakness is 10 foot away. What's your strength? <laughs> Why am I hitting it so hard? Why am I hitting it so hard? <laughs> that's a... I'm just three that's quite from like 10 you. feet. Well, we're going to have a bit of fun now. And you brought something with you today, didn't you? I did. Damn. Bang. Here we go. Beauties. We're going to play a little bit of game of uh, see if we can chip the keeper. Yeah, right? chip, so we, not, yeah. not lob. Def I didn't say lob. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we've got your nice uh, Adidas golf, uh, Adidas golf goalkeeper gloves. Yes. We've got a little area set up here. Down there, we've got a tee box uh, on the uh, short game area, otherwise known as the 19th hole here at Centurion. We've got ourselves a little, should we say, a goal area. Yeah. Goal area, what have you got there? You've got your high toe 60 degree? 60 degree high toe. Okay. Do you want to go first? I'll go first, yeah. The rules are really simple, guys. You've got five goes. you just got to get the ball to hit the ground in that goal area on that right. tee box. Yeah. And you get a point for every one you do. I've just got to stop it doing it. Simple as that. You ready? Game on. Let's do it. One rule we forgot to mention, you've got to start at the beginning of the goal area. So you've got to try and get it over the other person's head and chip the keeper, <laughs> funnily enough. This is almost like a penalty shootout, David. Uh, yeah. We involved in a few of them your time. Who are you going to nominate as your number one taker first off? First off, going to be Stuart Pearce. Stuart Pearce, okay. <laughs> right. I'm going to be yeah. Ludet McCloskey. <laughs> Ludo! Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> that was going in, you know. You tried to short side me earlier. Right, yeah, sure. <laughs> one. Okay. Matthew with one stop. Oh, it's coming! Oh, it's coming! It's coming! It's in! That's a lot of effort! That was, I was going for that! One, one nil! Oh, oh no! <laughs> got me! You've got that region down! Right into the back area of the goal! Not as a goalkeeper in a penalty shoot that, David. Did you wait and see where the goal is kicking or did you guess the side? I always guess. Did you? Yeah. Do you have a favourite side? Um, not really. No, but I always used to guess. I, as soon as the guy ran up to the ball, they've all run up looking at you, at the last minute they look at the ball. As soon as they do that, that's where I would go. That's when you guess. Well, I'm going to try that technique here. Yeah, when you look at the club. <laughs> as soon as you pull it back, I can go. Oh, he's got oh, there, this one, nice. surely, surely. Ooh! Safe hand, Sebi, they call him. <laughs> Two out of four. Last one. 
So you've been watching and learning. Someone will call it a television save, we'll call it a YouTube save. <laughs> Two, two's not bad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle to get one, let's be honest guys. I'll struggle to move anywhere near like you moved. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done my hammy. <laughs> I think he's desperate to say that his chip went over my head. There's a few people out there that have, but won't name names, eh? <laughs> He's not going to be another one. <laughs> oh no, it's just easy. <laughs> That's like a side foot penalty, perfect height. <laughs> who took that penalty? <laughs> no, yeah, who was that? It wasn't Julian Dix, that no. was sure. He's pretty disguised with his practice swing. <laughs> oh, I've tried it, I've tried it. He's ready, guys. He's ready. I think I've over disguised that. Oh, he's... <laughs> he got off the mark. He turned one. Oh no, I've jumped it, I've jumped it. Oh no. Come on, Tim. Get there, get there. No, no! <laughs> he's coming, he's going to death. He's going to death. That's why. <laughs> Come and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> peach mark, peach mark. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. Why are you getting there? Oh, it's him. Oh. It's him. <laughs> he's, he's in. VAR. I could see it as soon as it hit. He's close, but you can tell. This is the, the beginning of the divot. If we drag this across, it's a goal. It's a goal. He's done me. Absolutely no saving that one, fair play. That's 1-0 to David Seaman. We've got the last few holes of the golf to finish off now. We've got to get more revenge. <laughs> what? Billy Horshield on me. This is it, last hole, par five, all the way up here into the wind. Straight into. No shots left now. No. It's just mano in mano. Sweet out. It's gonna be wet. Oh, that's lovely. I think that checks up nicely as well. So, as we lie, aren't we? Thanks very much for watching. We had, we had a blast out here. It was a great fun and a great golf course, great company. It's really good to play with you, mate. Um, you. Thanks very much for Taylor made for setting the game up. I'm going to leave links down below. None of you, all of you know who David Seam is, but some of you <laughs> might not follow him on social media. So I'll leave links to his Instagram, your Twitter, which you're yeah. more active on, yeah. and also all of David's charity links will be down below as well. So I'll get those off Brilliant. and put nice. down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. I'll see you again soon. And I'm going for a putting lesson. <laughs> I, might be, I might be following you. <laughs>